let's quickly run through the interface of Adobe XD. So if I click on any of these, for example, this one to open up a new document, you will see that it will load right here and it will show me that artboard. And if I enlarge it just a little bit, hit control or command zero to snap into position, you can see how everything looks like. Now from here, uh, this will be a bit different depending on if you're using Mac or Windows because on Mac all of the controls are right here at the top while on Windows all of the controls are here inside of this hamburger menu so you actually have to click it and then access all of those different controls so right here we have the home icon and if you click on it it will take you back to this home screen and it's really useful if you want to access any of these that I mentioned in previous videos you want to learn more you want to open up a new art board and so on so that's really useful there right here we have design prototype and share now uh, we are currently in the design mode so we are designing basically and we can create anything we want inside of the design mode when you want to animate some of it you can click on the prototype and then you can access different features which enable you to prototype that design to make it interacting and then when you want to share with your, with your client you can actually click right here to access this share uh, options right here so right here in the middle we have the document which is currently being saved to the cloud and you can change that by simply going here right and clicking save as and choosing your desktop for example or dedicated folder on your computer and then it will save the copy on your computer as well you can click right here and change the name so for example our document you can press enter or return and you can see it's saving to the cloud because that's its uh, dedicated spot right here we have different controls so we have select control which is used basically for selection and for moving things around below that we have some shapes so we have rectangle shape ellipse shape polygon shape and line below that we have the pen tool so if you ever used uh, photoshop or illustrator for example you are familiar with pen tool but if not we are going to have a dedicated pen tool video later on in the series and you can watch it and learn more about it below that we have the text tool which is obviously used for typing and for entering uh, words below that we have different artboards so if you don't want to jump to the home screen all of the time you can click right here and it will show you different artboard sizes right here on the right but as i explained before you can change the artboard size at any point by simply clicking on it and you can enter your values right here so right now width is 1920 so for example if i want to be 1000 press enter and you can see that it changed to 1000 so you can always uh, change it there and make those changes really easily Below that we have the zoom tool and you can always use alt and scroll wheel on your mouse or you can use control and space to zoom in or control alt and uh, click to zoom out. You can always use control or command zero to snap the artboard into position and below that we have assets panel and if I click and click again it will hide that panel but if I click again it will expand that panel now what the assets are we are going to explain in one of the future videos and you can sort your assets right here and you can add colors character styles and components to your assets and components are going to be major video which are going to um, explain how you can use those components to further help you design uh, faster to design more simple and to be more collaborative inside of the team and it will really help you get your design process going and really improve your speed and your quality as a designer below that we have a layers panel so if i click right here you can see some layers right here and we are going to go into much more detail of it uh, a bit later and finally we have plugins panel so if we click right there you can add a new plugin by simply clicking right here and it will take you to this screen which we already talked about and here are your installed plugins and we are going to run through them once we start designing and i'm going to explain what some of them work and why some of them are really useful to my work uh, at least 
whenever you are clicking right here on your right you have these properties panels and you can really explore uh, how this changes depending on what you have selected right here so because we have dedicated videos coming for all of these i'm going to ex uh, explain how this panel changes whatever you have selected right here and that's basically it for the overview and we are going to cover some of these in the later videos so this is just a basic overview of how adobe xd looks like what everything does at a glance and finally i just want to share if you want to change the artboard name you can simply double click right here and call it whatever you want so let's say our port in this case. So that's it for this video. I'll see you in the next one when we are going to explore different shapes.